up guys today we want to address a situation that's called Adobe Gains uh, Louis Marco first uh, came out with this term and it's basically what's going on rampant in the fitness industry but people are getting caught because they're not doing it properly right now we're not condoning any of this behavior we just want to show you how to do it and how to do it properly and if you decide to do it how to do it without getting caught so basically what's happening is people are using Photoshop uh, to alter the size of their arms and body parts and what that does is they use a tool called liquify and that basically will bend the borders if you push it too much right so in the background if there's cracks or anything like that it can get bent so here's the way to do it and not get caught okay so and this is just for demonstration purposes only first you get your picture right so you want to shoot on a green screen so you take your picture whatever it is once you're done with the shot, okay, you cut yourself out, you key yourself out, then you grab the background. So wherever it is you want this picture to take place, you go there, you take a picture with your camera, you have it, once you get in front, then you green screen yourself, then you take yourself and you put it into the background as the second layer, your background layer, and then you do the liquify tool. So now when you do it, it's just gonna be affecting the layer that's keyed out. So we'll show you how that's done. I'll be while I'm talking, you know, you'll be seeing it right next to me over here. And then once you're done with that, when you're doing that, even if you push the limits crazy, it's not going to blur the background and it's not going to bend the background because the background is the second layer. So once you're done with that, of course, you add your color correction, grade it right, and then that's it. Adobe gains, and you won't get caught if you push the limits. So they're going to think you're using synthol. So anyway guys, this is just an educational video and uh, that's it. How to Adobe Games. We'll talk to you next time.